Hello everybody, Phil here, How I Simp Go. I just want to come on here first before I show you the drone footage, give a little disclaimer that that video was taken February 25th on Sunday afternoon. We've endured a couple days of 10 degrees and rain. I'm out here, the wind gusts are pretty bad. That's going to make the ice shift for sure and this rain is going to make it thaw. No good this week. A lot of hut operators have taken their huts off the lake and that's an indication for you to stay off the lake. That's their livelihood and when they pull the pin, call the season, that's it. So I just want to say this video looks like we have some ice but a couple days have gone past really mild and wet weather. Those shorelines, those pressure cracks are really going to open up and I want you to be safe. I want you to stay off the lake. Now I'm still going to show the video. It was fun to make. There's a bit of information in it but I really want to come out here in the rain and the wind if you can hear it and give you this disclaimer. So again enjoy the video, be safe and just stay off the lake. Let's call the season for what it is. Hopefully you had some fun but I don't want you on it. So enjoy the video. Well, I didn't make it out this weekend to go fishing, but I did find a little bit of time late in the afternoon today to come out and have a look and share some footage with you. Now again, in the drone footage, you see two fishermen looking for a way to cross that pressure crack out from the boat ramp. As you see in the footage last week, that crack was pretty wide and difficult to get across if you could at all. And today they were smart, very wise. They got off the machine, they had a look, they walked up and down to see a safe spot to get across and I did try to help them out. I found a spot with the drone that looked kind of promising if any and told them to go check it out where they see the drone hovering. They made a better decision to go all the way around to the other side along the shoreline and through the park and they did get off safely. But that shows you what we're dealing with right now. Very unstable conditions. We got little ridges of ice like that over pressure cracks and they did make the right decision. Other than that, really nobody out here, which as much as I want everyone to go fishing and have some fun, I'm glad there's not a lot of people here. This isn't the safest place to go. And in the parking lot, you see one of the main huts. People are starting to take them off. All right, let me sit down for this. So we all know the huts have to be off by March 15th, but with this unstable year that we've had so far, a lot of people are pulling them off early and I don't blame them. Again, you see that one on the shoreline, either waiting to see if conditions get better or to just take it off and that's the end of the season. Today, my friends and family are getting their huts off the lake. Again, that weather coming up this week is not gonna be good. It's one thing that we have to get our permanent huts off, but even thinking about walking out with a portable hut, I don't know. 
I don't trust it. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with this rain. Again, mild temperatures. It's not looking good. I know we want to get out, but we have to play it safe. I've been fishing and ice fishing for many, many years now, and I've never seen a winter like this. I like to think we did the best we could with what we had, and we'll just take it from there. If, if this happens to be the end of the season, so be it. Safety first, people. I'm not gonna ramble about it too much. You know the drill. I just, I don't wanna be the bearer of bad news. It's not safe. You can try somewhere else, talk to other people, but Sybil Point, again, like nobody out here. Don't bother, especially after next week. I hope this report helps. And I wish it was better news, but we'll wait for the next video. So until then, you stay safe, happy and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.